how to buy GoDaddy domain and hosting and also in this video I will show you how you can connect GoDaddy domain to GoDaddy hosting. So let's get started. First of all I am on the main dashboard of GoDaddy. So you just need to tap on the websites and hosting and then tap on the web hosting. Once you tap on this you just need to scroll all the way down until you see these plans. So right now we have four plans in here. You can choose any one of these depending on your budget and your specific needs as well. Now once you have make up your mind, you just need to select buy now button, tap on this and in the web hosting economy, we also have a free domain which we don't have in the web hosting starter. So I recommend to go with web hosting economy. So tap on the buy now button and then you need to select for how many months or years you want to go with it so i will go with 12 months for now and if i scroll down a little bit this will show you to go with professional email as well which is free for one month and after that we need to pay for this as well so i will delete this as i will create a new email after purchasing so after that we have the standard ssl I recommend to go with this as well which is free for one year as well so now scroll down and tap on this continue to card and now we need to sign up for our account so you can continue with google or email or facebook as well so after that you just need to tap on the i am ready to pay button or if you have promo codes you can also use them as well so once you are done purchasing this is how it will looks like which is the main dashboard so you need to tap on the dots on the top right corner and go for manage my products after that if i scroll down we have the web hosting option and we have the domain so for now let's set up our web hosting so tap on the setup and then you need to select one of these three options so let's go with i want to add a new website or if you want to upload an existing you can also do so or in case you want to migrate an existing website you can also go for this so right now as a beginner you just need to tap on the first one and this will show you which domain would you like to use so select your domain and tap on continue and then this will show you to choose our data center it will also recommend what is suiting you right now depending on your location so select your and then scroll down and tap on continue after that you can have these two options first one is create a wordpress website or you can leave it for now so i will set up after that so i will simply go for the second one and then you just need to wait for a few minutes as you can see it is completed successfully so you just need to tap on go to dashboard so once you are on the main dashboard, this is how it will looks like. So let's start installing the WordPress on our cPanel. So tap on the cPanel admin on the top right corner. And this will take you to this page where you need to tap on the WordPress in order to install this. You need to tap on install this application on the top right corner. And then our domain is selected. You can also choose a couple of more URLs as well. And if I scroll down, we have a couple of more options. So make sure all of these are set to I accept the license agreement, update to any new version, update WordPress plugins as new versions become available. And all of these options that are including updates, which is automatic. So you don't need to manually update each and every single time. So once you are done, just need to scroll all the way down and tap on the install button on the bottom right corner. After that, you just need to wait for a few minutes. And as you can see, our installation process has completed. So you need to simply tap on the second link and this will take you directly to your WordPress side. And the next step is, as you can see, we don't have the SSL certificate installed on our WordPress side. So in order to do this, you just need to go back to your cPanel and search for SSL certificate. So once you have searched for SSL, you just need to make sure to go for this one and now scroll down and tap on manage SSL sites. Now you just need to scroll down again and select your particular domain and make sure to tap on the autofill by domain. And now you need to scroll all the way down, and tap on install certificate. 
and as you can see SSL host successfully installed so you need to tap on OK button so now it will take at least few minutes or even 24 hours and the not secure sign will automatically disappear so hope this help this is how you can buy GoDaddy hosting and domain and also set up GoDaddy domain with hosting so make sure to subscribe the channel and see you in the next video